Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Git and GitHub as just, you know, as a simple Linux user. You don't want to use all the complicated features that, let's say, a software developer, a software developer team would be using because Git, especially, is a very complicated program. You can do like a lot of crazy things with it. And I don't, I'm not going to pretend like I understand everything. I know a very little amount, but I know enough to just get by and actually use it for, you know, the everyday needs that I would have. So essentially all it's going to be, all we're going to do is we're going to first of all, create a directory where we want to actually turn that into like a GitHub repository. So for me, I've already, oh no, I've already got a GitHub repository. So we've got a directory right here called GitHub test. And this is the file that we're going to turn into a directory. So essentially we're going to have the, you know, some code here. We'll call it, you know, we'll just say hi. This could be anything though. This could be just whatever file that you actually just want to upload online and just be able to track. So we're going to save that. And now we have the LS, we're going to have a file called code and it's got hi written into it. And from here, all we're going to have to do is just going to do, we're going to do git init, which just means git initialize. We're going to initialize the repository. So we've initialized it. And from here, we're just going to go to our GitHub account and we're just going to create a new repository. From here, we're just going to call it the same thing, but you could call it whatever you want. And I'm just going to leave everything else. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to create the account. And then from here, it will have like suggestions like, okay, what you can do, how you can do it. And I I take this approach. So all I do from here is do git add dot. And this just adds all the files that are in the repository into the like tracker into the like the github or the git tracker and dot just means like this repository so just add every single file in this repository essentially do that from here we're going to do our first commit which is we're going to do git commit dash m and this just means like the message and we're just going to you know it's customary to just write first commit save boom so we did our first commit afterwards all we're going to do is we're going to like it recommends like Oh, make sure you're on the main branch, but we can see that I already am. However, if you're creating a new repository, then by default, you only have one branch, which is the main branch. So it will be fine. And then we're just going to add the remote origin. So this just says like, okay, add every single, like every single time we push or we want to push, push it to the web server that is like hosting a GitHub repository. So in this case, it's github.com slash slash GitHub test. So we add that and that is the wrong thing. So we add that. And then from here, we're just going to do git push dash u origin and then main. Now it's going to ask for our username and then it's going to ask for our password, which is not actually the password to our GitHub account, but it is a authentication token. So we can see that this is an authentication token. So we're just going to save this and then paste that in. And as we can see, Boom, we just sent it to there. Just so you know, this token, I'm gonna delete it. So don't try and hack, like, don't think you can hack me or something, or just like mess with my GitHub. <laughs> but yeah, so now we created a repository, as you can see right here. And if we click on it, hi. So essentially, we've uploaded our file, our directory online to GitHub. And it's as simple as that. And then finally, and you can see the GitHub or like the git commit message. And then let's say, you know, we make some changes, go to the code file and this high, you know, I actually change it to buy, save that. Now we want to push that change to our server because now this is just a local change. So, you know, we made some local edits and now we want to release it as like a new commit. What we're going to do here again is git add dot git commit. And we're just going to call this updated high to buy just a simple message. And then from there, we're just going to do git push a dash M password. Boom. We update or we refresh should I say, and then we can see, yep, there's two commits. Now we have the latest git commit message. We click on the code and now it's going to say buy. And it's really as simple as that. You know, we can view, if we view on the commits. We can say, oh, okay. The commit I removed by and I added high. So it's very good because I've actually had this out of video, like why you should use uh, source control, like why you should use Git. And randomly, I don't know how I did this, but randomly I must have accidentally deleted the, what would you call it? Like I deleted like some lines of code or I deleted an entire file. And I was like looking through the commits. I'm like, where did it disappear? And then I looked, I'm like, oh, okay. Like it was something like I literally just like deleted like all the lines. 
But as we can see, it's as simple as that. You know, it's very useful because we can see that if we go to my account, let's say, I have like the suckless repository where I have all my suckless like utilities that I use and the configs that I have for them. Because it, it can be kind of a pain to set it up perfectly and especially to have like, let's say like how I have it set up. You know, it can take a while. So it's good to just have a file where like, you know, you make the changes to the config.h and then boom, like you can just download it. You don't have to like set up the exact colors and stuff. You just set it up once and you know, it's done. So it's very useful. And if you don't know, like if this is the first time you've ever used Git, you can also from there just do like Git clone. Let me exit out of this file actually. But you can like clone the repository. So if we do uh, Git clone and we clone the link and oh wait, I already did this before. I've tried to record this video like five times, but we do Git clone and then the link. It's now going to create a new directory called Socklist named after the, you know, the repo. And now if we enter into that directory, we can see that it is the exact same, you know, directory with the exact same repo as this. And then from here, we can make our own changes. Let's say we add a new file. We, um, I don't know, we just add a new file, like new file. And then we can also, you know, git add, git commit and yada, yada. But obviously, like, unless you have the password to the actual like user, then you can't do it. But if this is your own user, then you can clone the GitHub repository. From there, make changes, yada, yada. And then, you know, you can do git push, enter your account details, and then this will show up as a new like commit. So it's as simple as that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. You found it informative. Leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.